Hey folks, Nas here, uh, coming at you with another Medieval Dynasty video. Uh, looks like the update version 1.0.0.8 has gone live today. Uh, let's see, looks like they have added item sorting in inventory during trading and transfer. Holding F or X changes people's needs in the whole category. Uh, let's see, custom names for animals. Well, that's going to be kind of cool. Uh, let's see, keybind now recognizes mouse buttons. Uh, checking the size of all saves in saves folder. Uh, over 40 new random places generated on the map. Game mode setting for stopping, for stopping dropped food from spoiling. Interesting. Ah, okay. Uh, let's see. Slight camera shakes when using tools or hitting objects. Uh, added option to disable camera shakes in gameplay settings. Oh, that's good. I'm not sure that I'm going to like that or not. We'll have to check that out. Uh, let's see. Added options to disable characters breathing in gameplay settings. New dialogue sounds. 69 new voice, co new voice colors. Uh, let's see. Farewell. First time greeting. Greeting vendor. Okay. Uh, looks like they've got a, a lot of items that they fixed, which I am not necessarily going to read them all. Uh, just certain little things that I'm seeing here. Uh, the weight of wooden vials is too high, so apparently they've lowered the weight of the wooden vial. Wrong expiration time in the journal. Looks like they may have fixed that. NPCs animation sometimes pause when they are standing, looking at a bench, chair, or workbench until they finally start interacting. Okay. Uh, foul movement animations do not match their movement speed. Th there's a bunch of them here. So if you want to go and see what all they fixed, uh, you know, you can see the, the update and stuff in Steam. Uh, let's see. Updated. Uh, head bobbing algorithm improvements. Uh, snow improvements on bridges and stairs. Excuse me. Bridges, stairs, and planks. Oh, that'll be good. Numerous improvements in post-processing. Uh, the duration of the day has been lengthened and the night shortened. Well, oh, okay. I don't know whether that's a good or, or, or a bad thing. Because um, I, I work... <laughs> I rarely sleep in this game anyway. <laughs> so being day or night doesn't necessarily bother me either way. Uh, let's see. The, the length of the day depends on the season. Oh, okay. So that's going to be kind of cool. Gates now open wider. Gates can now be placed on players' roads. Oh, that's going to be cool. That'll be nice, actually. Uh, let's see. Further animal IK improvements. I'm not sure what IK is. Quest now can be untracked. Chapter quest, excuse me, chapters cannot be untracked. If text in options, if text in options will be too long, then there will be sliding animation. Okay. Equipped or assigned items will not be taken from the player in delivery quest. Now, that's definitely cool. Because there, there was a lot of times where I would either drop or leave something behind just so they didn't take the one I had equipped for those quests. Uh, let's see. Sorting, sorting now sorts all items together without division in cate to categories. Updated system for key binding. Now it's possible to change bound key for every action. Well, that's good. Quick slots for some keyboards, excuse me, quick slots for some keyboard layouts now must be remapped manually in keybind menu. Removed odd white lines in scroll bars, rendering options. I guess they've updated the rendering options. Uh, let's see, update a horse animation, tra animation transitions are now smoother while accelerating. Uh, time left for objects is now not visible if object is done. Well, that's good. Seasons left for quest to complete is not is now not visible if quest is completed or failed. Default frame set frame rate set to sixty. Improved snapping NPCs to interaction interaction points. Uh, turn in. 
turn in place animation speed and angles, uh, throwable rock damage change to five instead of 10. I'm not sure that I have ever used the throwing rock in this game. Now, I know I've crafted it, but I don't think I've ever used it. Uh, early on, uh, I think I had tested whether the throwing rock was going to be viable to make money from. Uh, I think it was right after they changed the price of the rock from like one coin to like 0 0.01 coin. Um, you could actually craft the throwing rock and ended up, I think you could, you could uh, sell each throwing rock for like one coin each or something, but I think that all got changed. Um, but anyway, they updated the German, Polish, Dutch, Swedish, and Russian uh, languages. Then there's also this new, um, what looks to be kind of a Halloween kind of a theme uh, for the game. So something spooky is happening in Gustovia. Uh, villages have reported seeing scarecrows scattered all around the land. Some people report receiving many riches from them, while others are too scared to come close. Uh, the people are looking at you, village leader. What will you do? Are you brave enough to see them yourself, or are you too scared to try? Legends say the Scarecrows will only be there until November 3rd uh, of 2021, uh, so you don't have much time to make up your mind. Scarecrows will be at the various locations on the map, so keep your eyes wide open. With the spooky season in full swing, it also means that Medieval Dynasty is now on sale on Steam. So it looks like there's going to be a uh, Halloween sale with 20% off discount for uh, Medieval Dynasty. Uh, through the Let's see, the promotion ends on the 1st of November. Uh, it looks like they've also got a 60% discount on Farmer's Dynasty and 40% discount on Lumberjack Dynasty. So anyway, let us uh, head over to Gustovia and see what, uh, see what these Scarecrows are all about. So give me just a moment. Alrighty, folks, we're coming up on Gustovia here. Now, I'm putting this out. You can see it's winter time. This is in my Season 5 gameplay. Uh, I, if you're not familiar with how I do my recordings and stuff, I record several videos in a day that I have available to record videos, and then I spend the next several days uh, trying to edit those videos so I can put them out for you guys. So I'm trying not to reveal too much because I've already recorded several videos before this update came out. Uh, but I wanted to do a small video to kind of cover the updates and this new Halloween thing to see what was it was all about. Because I was afraid that by the time I put my other videos out, uh, the, the Halloween event would already be done with. Uh, but anyway, we're in Gustovia, so obviously they had talked about these uh, scarecrows. I'm not seeing anything special right now. Oh, what's this? Oh, there's one right there. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually like that. That's kind of cool. I like that little scarecrow. I wonder if we're going to be able to craft some of these. Oh, we can collect something. Let's see what we get. Collect. What do we get? Four hop plant seedlings. Okay. Let's see if we can find some more. Okay, well, he was like walking down. His legs were stuck in the ground a second ago. The guy right over there. Uh, of course, these folks here are just, uh, they're facing south. <laughs> that's that's kind of creepy in itself. You guys need to go do something. All right. Oh, there's a scarecrow down at that end. And there was one down on this end as well. So let's go down here and see what this one offers. I do like these scarecrows. It'd be kind of cool if we could craft these and put, you know, if nothing else, put, put them out in our fields for decorations because... Obviously, you don't have to worry about birds in the game. It's not like they fly down and eat your seeds or anything like that. But I think it would be kind of cool to be able to craft these scarecrows. Uh, what did we get? Notice. We got some seeds, I think. 55 onion seeds. Holy cow. 
Alrighty, let's see what this one here, because I don't see any more. These are the only ones I'm seeing here. We get here. Temperature potion and a potion of camouflage. Well, alrighty. Those are pretty cool, actually. I like that. I like that a lot. Alrighty, there we go. Uh, Scarecrows are in the game for a short period of time. It looks like maybe November 3rd is going to be when they are no longer in the game. So uh, go and, and, and play your save and go around um, and check some of the other villages because I would imagine they're probably in all of the villages because it mentioned in the text or in the, uh, the announcement that other villages were... Uh, reporting these experiences with these scarecrows. Anyway, uh, go visit your scarecrows and uh, see what kind of goodies you get. Alrighty, folks, I appreciate you joining me for this. Uh, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you folks in the next one. You take care and happy hunting.